risk. Plus, we do not offer counseling. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fear stalking our profession right now, and it's a fear that the profession is going away, that technical communication is on the decline, that our careers and everything we know may be going out the window, and I'm here to tell you it's not true. There's a reason that we're seeing this. Think back. Documentation has become simpler. 20 years ago, you put out a manual that told the users how to use a mouse. 10 years ago, we were asking ourselves, do we still need this chapter? Today, we don't put it in because the, we know the users don't need it. Everything is simpler. All of this has happened before, and it will happen again. It's a line from a science fiction movie, but it permeates our culture. The circle of life, the changes of seasons, sunrise, sunset. It's all about change and cycles and movement. Trees spring buds that become flowers, that bear fruit, that bear seeds, that become new trees. It goes round and round and round. So you wonder, how does this apply to us? It's because we also are in a cycle. Our profession isn't new. Archaeologists, some a year or two ago, discovered a 1,500-year-old, or was a 2,000-year-old clay tablet they think is the first piece of technical documentation from Babylon. Ancient scribes, people with laptops, we've always been there and we always will. The tools and the subject change. Lately, what happened? The economy took a nosedive, and when it did, innovation went with us. Innovation is our core. But when they both go down at the same time, that tends to be a killer. This does happen, and it will go back up. So what about the economy? Jerzy Kaczynski explained it most simply in being there. The economy is like the seasons. You get a spring of growth. You get a vibrant summer you get a fall of decline. None of us are afraid in the fall because we know the spring will come back again. The economy is no difference. Innovation has cycles, ups and downs. You get a peak of innovation, usually timed with an economic rise, but you get a decline where we are in now because we're still absorbing everything that happened in the last upswing. Then it'll rise again. 60 years ago, our predecessors were guys in horn rimmed glasses and, and crew cuts writing about radar, and they thought thick volumes of documentation was the way it was and always would be. They couldn't understand that there would be anything else or any possibility. They were driven by the Cold War, massive defense spendings, complex systems, and again, multi-volume, multi-page, thick pieces of documentation, which they imagined would always be the future of technical writing. But it wasn't so. In the early 70s, there was a massive defense drawdown. Thousands of systems were scrapped, taken to the boneyard. Oh my god, that was my first tech writing project. Uh, <laughs> and, and they didn't know that it would ever come back again. So far as they could see it, it was all over. <laughs> this is so long ago that the guy in the picture, me, thought he was well dressed going to the high school. <laughs> This has all happened before, and it will happen again. At the same time this was happening, DARPAnet was stringing together a few uh, computer terminals to, to create a network, which the tech writers of that day could not imagine would ever be a topic, something that they could write about. What's a half dozen computers and some networking cable? Where, where's the work in that? They didn't understand that it was a turning point in technology and society, which we rode to a peak of professions a few years back. It was a massive change which the people who were seeing it at the moment of change could not fully understand. Not through a lack of a limitation, but just human nature. Innovation is a part of human spirit and always will be. Innovation drives change, and change is where we come in. Innovation looks for what's desirable to use users, what's useful. And with every innovation comes a need for new documentation, new explanations, and new teaching devices and methods. Watch in the future as documentation and training becomes more complex and starts to grow in with each other and merges closer and closer together. So where are the new trends? We've heard a lot about mobile. We've heard about, a lot about green. But don't forget, just yesterday, SpaceX launched a spacecraft. Think of that. Private business is building spaceships now. That's where we're going. And there, in three words, is what we do. We explain things. We explain things. And people will always need explanations. And they can be from incredibly complex systems down to the very, very simple. Everything needs improvement. How many of you have seen the sign? North, south, east, and west towers. I don't know which way I'm facing. Any one of us could have made 
that better in a second. And there are just examples of things like this all over the world. People need explaining things. So, what, I'm, what am I going to be writing about five years from now? I don't know. It hasn't been invented yet. And that's the thrill of our profession. We're on the edge. We're on the future. And, and just because we cannot see the future does not mean it's not coming. It is.